Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about the biggest explosion in the universe. Um, once again, because we just found something that was even more powerful. Anyway, let's talk about this and welcome to What Man. So it seems that once again we've discovered something that beat the previous record and specifically here we're talking about the biggest explosion we've ever detected or at least the signs of that explosion that very likely happened a few hundred million years ago. But before some of you say, but wait Anton, if that's even your real name, isn't Big Bang the biggest explosion in the universe? Instead of explaining it myself, I'm going to point you toward the videos of amazing Dr. Don Lincoln, who explains a lot of the Big Bang misconceptions really well. He's one of the major scientists in Fermilab, and he explains these concepts really well. So check out some of his videos to kind of learn more about why Big Bang is actually not an explosion at all, but more of an expansion event that's still going on. Yet there was a video that I made about two months ago that was actually called Discovery of the Biggest Explosion in the Universe that was about, back then, the biggest explosion we've discovered. But what the scientists discovered just now very recently beats this record by about five times. So the explosion event that happened in this region known as Opiacus is about five times as powerful as the previous record holder. Now this is why it's kind of exciting because we never imagined such events to even occur. In a nutshell, all of this happened not so far away from us in a galactic cluster known as Apiacus. If we look at the map of the universe of nearby galactic clusters, this is roughly what all of this looks like. Our galaxy is inside the Virgo supercluster and is being pointed at by this arrow right here. It's really really tiny in this image. And if you were to go this way for about 390 million light years, you will discover the cluster known as the Apiacus. And if you were to start zooming in on this, eventually you would discover this area here that's roughly a few million light years across. And this is exactly where the scientists just discovered what seems to be the signs of an extremely large explosion from the center going this way. And the reason they know that this is an explosion, or it was an explosion a few hundred million years ago, is because of the actual structures and the emissions happening here. There are a lot of x-rays coming out, and there are also a lot of radio emissions all together forming in the same region in the same shape. As if something in the center suddenly exploded releasing all of this energy, in a sense resembling a kind of a volcanic eruption on Earth, but here this is on galactic proportions. And the volcano itself is in the middle and suddenly all of this energy came out of here and created this cavity that we see on the screen. And all of this was determined using various frequencies and a very thorough analysis that essentially presents us with a kind of a picture where something in the middle caused a tremendous release of energy that then created this edge that is otherwise almost impossible to explain. Whatever this emission was, it was so powerful that right here there's actually a kind of a hole in plasma that's otherwise present around the galaxy and this super hot gas created an actual discontinuity right here and it's visible in every spectrum. In terms of the actual size of this, I guess you could call it crater or a galactic crater, it's about 15 Milky Ways across, or essentially several million light years across, which makes this a tremendously large and very unusual formation. But obviously we've seen many other outbursts and explosions in other galaxies, but normally they're not really even close to being as powerful. What we saw here is equivalent to roughly around 50 billion supernova. Now it's obviously very difficult to imagine such a huge number, but if this is just one supernova, and this here is about 10 supernova, now multiply this by a billion. Anyway, it's really really difficult to imagine such a huge amount of energy being released, but this energy as it was released essentially created this unusual formation. And obviously we don't really know why, how or what created this, or how this was even possible. We obviously suspect the supermassive black hole in the middle, but the amount of mass that this black hole had to actually consume suddenly is kind of difficult to explain. Although actually the scientists don't think that this happened suddenly, they believe that this was probably over a period of several million years. So it's quite possible that something really really massive, like for example some sort of a massive gas cloud, was absorbed over a long period by a supermassive black hole and created this really large emission. And one of the reasons we've only discovered it now even though it's so close to us is because we never really bothered to look at this particular galactic cluster in radio waves. We always either looked at it in x-rays or in visual light. But now the scientists decided to take a look at it using radio waves as well and this is when they saw this unusual formation 
that was present both in radio waves and also in X-ray radiation as well. And both emissions were more or less aligned with each other forming this unusual crater-like shape. Now, right now, we obviously have no explanation for much of this. Uh, this is only just an interesting discovery. There's really no actual ways to explain what exactly causes such events, or if such an event can happen in our own galaxy, or if this even had any influence on our galaxy. But nevertheless, this is still interesting to us because currently this galaxy is extremely quiet. It's a very, very quiet radio galaxy that still has an active galactic nuclei, but in comparison to some of the other galaxies and even in comparison to its own past, it's extremely, extremely low in luminosity and it doesn't produce as much radiation anymore. And so the scientists now think that because of this huge explosion, whatever happened back then, this galaxy kind of, sort of, made itself extremely quiet. It sort of expelled a lot of material that was around it, creating something that's a lot more quiet now than it used to be before. And this is what they believe may have happened approximately a few hundred million years ago. And if these large explosions can change galaxies so dramatically, this actually means that some galaxies could be completely destroyed by these large explosions. And if these large explosions can actually quiet galaxies, what if they can also destroy them? What if an emission can be so powerful that it can totally blow the entire galaxy apart? Now this is something we've never seen before, but we obviously haven't really looked that hard yet. I'm sure it will take a few years, but we'll probably discover even more signs of even bigger explosions out there. And interestingly, when these scientists originally found this, they actually kind of didn't even believe that this would be a powerful explosion because it was just way, way too powerful to exist. It took a lot of follow-ups and a lot of additional observations to finally admit that what they were looking at was what seems to be the most powerful explosion we've ever seen anywhere. And it doesn't seem to be that far away from us either. It's a lot closer than any of the previous findings. Now, if something like this ever happened in the Milky Way galaxy, chances are a lot of gas and a lot of stars would just completely disappear or at least get kicked out of the system. And since we see that such explosions are even possible in the universe, it also kind of slowly takes us closer and closer to answering the questions about why are we not seeing any extraterrestrial intelligence out there? Our universe seems to be a lot more violent and a lot more unpredictable than anyone ever imagined. If such an explosion occurs near our galaxy, I think I'm pretty sure that most of the life on our planet would perish really quickly. And so maybe the answer to Fermi Paradox is that we are really, truly the only survivors in this madness of the universe. But anyway, until we learn more about these unusual explosions or discover one even bigger, that's really it. Check out the paper in the description below and also check out uh, Fermi Labs channel. It's really awesome. You learn a lot more about the actual physics as well. But on this note, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Subscribe if you still haven't and share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences. And maybe consider supporting this channel on Patreon. It does help me quite a lot. Or maybe consider buying this beautiful t-shirt I'm wearing and become a wonderful person even when you're not watching the videos. Anyway, on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye-bye.